we were all with her the night before she got arrested. She had talked about how season two was going to be kind of a redemption tour for her. And then two days later, she gets arrested. I was just sitting there. Thinking. Oh, okay. I am here now with Chris and Alana, who you may remember from the most recent season of Bachelor in Paradise. There is a lot to get into, but first I do just want to say congratulations to you guys on being happy and together after this whirlwind adventure you went on. How are you? Thank, Thank you. you. No, it's been good. We're doing really well. What do you say? Yeah, we're doing well. So just uh, living in Utah, um, enjoying our time together and hoping for a little bit of warmer weather coming up soon. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, do you watch through Housewives of Salt Lake City? Side note, I have to ask anyone who lives in Utah. So it's actually sad. I'm, <laughs> and this, I always get a lot of shit for this one but the only one i'm friends with is jen shaw stop you know jen shaw yeah so what actually funny story she was like out with me and my friends like the day before she got arrested when i asked that question i thought i was just kind of being sarcastic i had no idea you were <laughs> to tell me that you know jen shaw oh my uh, god what is she like no, in real life she's actually really cool and like not what you see on TV. Oh, wow. That's, so, I'm okay. I'm, there's a, wow. Okay. I could I mean, go on for that forever, but oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Is there anything else you could tell me about Jen Shaw before I move on? Move on. I mean, let's all be real. We, we all know how reality TV can make people look. And I think she's another good example of that because her husband is a football coach, coach at the University of Utah. Like her family's a really well-known family. And so it's been interesting to see how she's portrayed on TV. I mean, were you guys who saw her the day before it, this all happened? Were you just like, what the hell am I reading? Because I was trying to even understand what these court, reading court documents, I pretend I'm a lawyer. When reality stars get into legal trouble, it's like wild to try to understand it. Was Were you just like, what am I looking at? I mean, for all of us, it was kind of a funny thing because my buddy Aaron actually texted me and goes, Jen Shaw just got arrested. And I was like, what? She was just with us. Oh and God. then I saw like the photos of her going into the courtroom, all that stuff. I was like, wow, okay. I haven't dove into it all that much and I haven't seen her since then. Wow, well, it's season two is quite the ride if you're ever really bored or stuck inside. We might have to check it out. You might have to, and honestly, she, I mean, all the stuff is crazy and the allegations are wild and like, who knows? Um, but she came off like not horrible. Like she, you, she's kind of likable a little bit, honestly, but all things considered, um, which, you know, I think different seasons of different shows, that's the benefit of a housewife is yeah. that they can kind of like show different sides of you versus a, a bachelor kind of show, especially if you're only on a handful of episodes, you come off, you know, there's only one, not as well-rounded, I would say. Yeah. So here's the one thing I'll tell you though, is like, when I, when, like, we were all with her the night before she got arrested. She had talked about how season two was going to be kind of a redemption tour for her. And then two days later, she gets arrested. I was just sitting there thinking, oh, oh okay, this isn't going to work that well. 